and today I'm back with another haul. All the things that I bought are actually all from Taobao and Taobao is a website based in China where they sell really affordable and very, very it's really really very cheap straight from factory goods like clothing and anything that you can actually think of like your houseware equipment and stuff so before I start I just want to warn you that this is gonna be a very very long haul because I bought over more than 20 items I guess actually I didn't really count but there's a lot of stuff grab a drink or something. The reason why I bought so many things is because first of all it's very cheap, second of all I'm buying through an Asian. The thing about buying through an Asian is that the shipping fee is quite a lot and also the agent fee. However if you buy directly from Taobao you will actually like uh, the sh some of them include like international shipping which is quite it's convenient for anyone who lives in any part of the world even if you have to pay for your own shipping for international shipping it will only be like what two dollars however for the current agent I'm using it can cost quite a lot it can add up it can accumulate up to quite a sum of money but to me it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day when I split the cost up to each of the items I bought it's really really cheap and I don't really mind about it for those of you who can't really read Mandarin, you can actually go translate the whole entire page on Chrome. You can also go and Google translate English keywords into the Chinese keywords so that you can search for um, a variety of items that you need. However, I mean, as most of you should know, that Google translation might not be always correct. All the things I bought are really pretty and they are very affordable, so I'll link all the links down below if you want to go buy one for yourself. I've already split all the items out into different categories like uh, clothing, accessories and miscellaneous stuff. So we'll start with the top first. These are not actually tops, they are fake collars. I bought one in black and one in white as usual. And what I like about this is that there are like straps here that goes underneath your armpit so that this part, these areas here won't flap up and then go out of your shirt as you like run around or something like that. And yeah, it saves you from embarrassment and that Singapore is very really, very really hot. I don't really want to layer two layers of clothes but this really helps me to fit the layer. And these are 3 dollars each. Next, I bought some strapless bra. These are really amazing because they are like seamless. They actually have a bit of extra padding. So I guess it gives me more um, boobs I guess. <laughs> What's really nice about this is that it comes with like normal strap that is like of the matching color and also it comes with a clear strap at the back so I got one in black and one in beige they are 620 each I've been really loving like crop tops and like sleeveless tops lately and this year we have a embroidered black chiffon sleeveless tee which will go really nice with like jeans and bandage skirts and this is only six dollars similarly to the previous item it looks a lot like Init Bangkok's what's that? Luna chiffon top? pleated top? I don't re remember the name but it really looks legit and if I'm not wrong the original brand the top is around forty dollars and I got this for like what? I got this for four dollars so it's like 10 times cheaper and it's like it's, it looks like the same thing and it feels really nice and stuff so yay! Next up we have another sleeveless top and this is really cool because it has this extended like band around the waist that really accentuates the waistline and it has cyber girl and a smiley face written on it. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually a student currently studying in game development, so cyber girl, that sounds like me, right? <laughs> this top is 560. More sleeveless tops. These are actually um, American Apparel inspired cut in crop top. I got one in grey, and I got another one in this really nice burgundy purplish color. These are $2 each, so it's like what a steal right anyway, right? yeah. Mm. Similarly to the previous tops, it's another crop top that 
looks like American Apparel's inspired. Look at this. Look at this. Don't you want to lick it? I feel like licking it. <laughs> the thing about this is that the material is not really like cotton blended. It feels more like it got that kind of dry fit feel, which is really nice for the weather that we have in Singapore. And this is six ninety. It's so much more expensive compared to the previous two dollars similar top, but I mean the print is worth it. And it's I mean six dollars, six dollars. It's okay. It's okay. I think I bought a lot of uh, crop tops and they are all sleeveless, I just realised. Now the stock photo that's on Taobao is actually a very nice beigey kind of mustard colour but this is slightly more brownish but I don't mind it, it looks nice. And I got another one in grey. Similarly, it doesn't look like the one that is shown online but I don't mind, it's really nice. Take note that these are all knitted and it's only $5.60 each. Moving on to t-shirts. I got a lot of t-shirts during this haul as well. And the first one is this white shirt. But what's so unique about it is, take a look at this. The seller photoshopped the emojis so that <laughs> it's cute little. I don't know, this is my like very like calm face and the floral crown and the hand gesture, it just it's so me. It's just me. And it's only $6. Next t-shirt that I got is this Mike shirt. It's very really cute. The sad thing is that there's no salary, you know, I'll buy both of them. But this is only like, what, $3, so it's like really worth it. And look at his expression, my goodness. <laughs> it's the cutest thing I've ever gotten. Next, I got this Tumblrish inspired shirt. It has Chinese characters on it which says Nui Han Zi, which means Han Zi is actually men and I think this means many girl but the English translation here says tough girl. Like what I said before, I'm a game development student. My course is filled with guys and I don't really think they treat me as a girl before so I'm a many girl. And this many shirt is $5. Next t-shirt, have I ever told you that I love Baymax and Sailor Moon? What if the two of them combine and made a love child? This is like the perfect shirt and this is my... I can tell you this is like my favourite character now. Sailor Baymax. Mm. Here we have like some Chinese characters which says Mei Shao Bai. Sailor Moon in Chinese is like Mei Shao Nui I guess. Like Yue Liang Mei Shao Nui or something like that. So here we have Mei Shao and then Bai because Baymax in Mandarin is like Da Bai. So yeah, that's like a hybrid of their names. And here we have Dai Biao Yue Liang Xiao Mian Ni, which means in the power of the moon, I will punish you. Yeah, my, my inner Sailor Moon is coming out. Oh, I bought the love of my life for $5.60. And the last t shirt I have is this football jersey inspired shirt, I guess. It's like monochrome, which is like my favorite. and. Here we have Xin Qi Ling. Xin Qi is like Xin Qi Yi, Xin Qi Er, which is like Monday, Tuesday. And Ling means zero, so I think this is day zero. And here we have something written in Japanese, I can't really read. I think this one is something about happiness, and this one I think is the, the zero day. This is 4.45. And the last top related item I have is this knitted bikini top, which is only 6.50. I mean, like. I think I can even wear it out with a cardigan thrown over or something so yeah, I don't look that slutty. To match with that, I got a matching bikini bottom, Spongebob square and Spongebob... Okay, sorry. But yeah, it's the same white knitted style and this is $5.15. Since we're talking about bikini bottom, so let's move on to the bottoms. First bottom that I have here is this pleather tights. I actually read the description only, like I think this is the black, there's a silver one which is the one that I wanted. It's actually like black base with like sparkles on it. It looks pretty, it doesn't look skanky but I don't know, it, kinda, it, can, it sounds skanky but... Oh wow, I'll try to make do with these tights then. These tights are $4.45. Moving on to another pair of bottoms is this ombre boyfriend jeans with like these really nice cutouts at the knee area. Like, this is like... All the current trends combined to one. Boyfriend jeans, ombre, distressed knee patch. And this is only like $8.90. I've been loving my pleats 
and so I got a baby blue pleated skirt. But it is really disappointed me because the pleats, as you can see over here, is like dissipating and I don't know what happened to this but it's only $5.60. The material is pretty nice so I can't really complain about the pleats part. Maybe I can like do something about it but oh well. And the next skirt I have here is a pencil skirt. This is only $4.50. It's like so pretty and it's only $4.50. It's like Taobao. Why are you so nice to me? I got this pinafore, dungaree. I don't know how to pronounce that. Dungaree? Dungaree? Okay. But it's a monochromatic grey skill floral dungaree and it's really pretty. Like, I love the colour scheme of it and there's this gigantic pocket in the middle that is like so cute. And the length is just nice. And this floral dungaree is only $5.70. And then I got another dungaree, dungaree pinafore because I don't know why I'm being to it. And this one is a dark grey grid form and there's a pocket here which you can put your hands. And this is really cute and the wooden material is really nice so for $7.80 it's really worth it. As I said, I love my pleated stuff so I got a pleated top, I got a pleated skirt so now I have to have a pleated dress. And look at this colour, it's like really amazing. It's like some royal purple going on here and it's like oh my god this colour and the quality of the dress is just amazing inside. Like, it doesn't look like something that is eight dollars, you know. Now the next dress I got here is something that I really wanted for a long time. I wanted something to have a bell sleeve like this. This is not as long as what I wanted, but I will make do because the embroidery is really beautiful. It's a shift dress, and this is only six fifty. The last dress I have here is a cocktail dress, and it's really pretty. It's actually a laser cut black dress. Only problem I have is that I'm not so busty, so I might need to do some alteration around the boobs area because it's too big on me. But other than that, ten dollars and fifty cents. It's a really good buy. I can wear this to weddings. I can wear this to funerals. Okay, <laughs> sorry. That's not. Those two things are not meant to be put together. But sorry. But down with the apparel side, now we're moving on to the accessory side of this entire haul. The first thing I got is something that I needed for a long time because my old glasses are getting boring to me. So I got this really cute floral geek specs. I see many people have it but they don't have the floral design, they only have like those plain black ones. So when I saw this I'm like, yes something different, I love it. And this is only like $6. They don't come with prescribed um, lenses, so I went to my local audition and I spent like $50 on the lenses. My lecturers called me Granny Jenny, but it's okay. I love it. It's fine. I'll deal with it. Next, I got two phone cases. The first one is this adorable milk bottle. It's a really huge statement and I love it. And another thing is that it comes with a strap which is really convenient when I need to like go out and stuff and I don't really want to put this bulky little thing into my pocket, I can just hang it around my neck. And this milk bottle here is only $1.70, it's like, what? <laughs> you cheap little milk bottle, I like you a lot. The next phone case I got is this Mickey Mouse ears, sort of clear phone case. And it comes with a strap as well, and oh, the seller is really nice. She she put in a free screen protector inside. It is $2.40. Next, uh, because I'm quite a religious person, I always wear this uh, cross necklace with me. I don't really wear other necklaces because they will all tangle out and stuff. So I've been really into chokers lately. I bought two tattoo chokers because, I mean, they're basics, and I have some charms that I think I can just hook it onto the chokers and they are really cheap, it's only like 40 cents each so why not. Next choker that I got is a daily choker which is 63 cents and to be honest it's like I, can't, I couldn't believe it because in Singapore I've seen like the cheapest is like $3 for that the similar choker and to continue with my Sailor Moon obsession I got a Sailor Moon choker which costs $1.50 Oh, and have I told you I have another obsession with like unicorns? So yeah, I got my unicorn choker at three dollars and three cents. It's quite costly, as you can see. Like, it's a velvet material, so it's worth it. 
The last chakra that I got is actually from an anime that has been my childhood. Sailor Moon is actually not my childhood because I'm born in the late 1990s, so Card Raptor Sakura is actually my childhood. This is one of the stuffs that she used, and the choker is $1.50 only. And to match with the choker, I got a color pin which costs $2.20. It's quite costly, but I mean, it's worth it because I rarely find things that remind me of my childhood, and that is really like something that brought back really good memories and stuff like me collecting cards and buying figurines and stuff like you know the inner geek in me coming out if you love chokers like i do do go check out my friend's blog shop she designed and made all these for herself and if i'm not wrong she's making shirts soon so why not go accessorize yourself with her amazing artwork and then i got three more color pins which is one dollar each uh, a fortune cat one, a romance cat, and a space team color paint. These are really cute, my goodness. Next, I got five clipping highlights because I mean, my hair is pretty damaged already. I don't really want to dye anymore, so I'll just make do with my fake hair. These are really, really cheap because they're only like 20 cents each, so grab all the colors that I like. Then we have more wigs. I bought two clipping bangs one in natural black and another in. It's it says deep brown, but it looks purplish, which actually matches with my hair quite nicely right now. And those are 150 each, but I can tell you the quality is not very good. And I've browsed through the comments, and a lot of people were like praising about the seller. Then when I really bought the items, and I went back to look at comments again, and I realized that oh, a lot of them, if you give them a thumbs up or something, the seller will actually send discounts over. So yeah, and then they were saying, oh, I'm so cheated and stuff, like, do you even send me any discounts, blah blah blah. I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll just see how it goes when I receive the item. So yeah, I didn't really like them a lot, but it's quite fun to play them. I got some Chrysler's hair ties, and they are 15 cents each. Real cute. And <laughs> this is really funny. I got this, like, devil clips thingy. Like, I didn't know that it doesn't come in a set. So I only bought one, thinking that it's one set, so only one of the horns came in, I'm like, what? But I mean, to be honest, it's only like 21 cents, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's not a set la, but... Eh, seriously, why don't you sell a set? What, what would I do with like one freaking horn, just one horn or what? And to go with that devilish dark side, I got two skeleton hair clips. These I know that I have to buy like individually because normally they don't sell it in a pair and they are 20 cents each which is god they're cheaper than the horns and then I got um, some gold leaves clips which are really pretty make me feel like a goddess ah! it's only like 22 cents each it's like oh so pretty I got some gold and silver rings <sighs> Again, I thought that it comes with two because the stock images uh, showed two, but I mean it's 9 cents, so yeah. Speaking of fingers, I got some nail foils. First up is this marbleish nail foil, and it's only $1.30. And with the same price, I got another monochrome nail foil. And then I got this Van Gogh nail foil for $0.94. Cents. Oh my god, look at this. It's freaking art on your fingertips. I got two more designs. One is like color block and another is like Vans inspired and they are 60 cents each. I bought some decors at 20 cents each and each packet has around 100 pieces I guess. And I bought a new stamp for 60 cents and a new stamp plate for 30 cents and some nail strips for 10 cents. They are really tiny but I mean they're pretty and they're only 10 cents so yeah. That's all for accessories and lastly we have miscellaneous stuff. I got some plaster socks for 160 each. They are really cute and I think they match my holographic platform shoes really well. And then I got two sets of like cupcake molds slash like chocolate molds. The cupcake molds is $2 each, so are the baking molds and yeah, the baking mousse is like, you buy two, you get one free, I think. Or is it buy three and get one free, I don't know. And for the cupcake mousse, they actually gave a spatula, which is really sweet of them. The last thing I got is actually this laptop sleeve, which comes with this pouch that's actually for your charger. I'm using a 13-inch MacBook Pro, and I got myself a 15-inch 
that I thought slim instead I'm like why Jenny why and the thing about this pouch is that it's really matching and it's very nice but it, it can't really fit the charger in nicely mm. but for eight dollars this is quite a steal and for the laptop sleeve there are like pockets behind here which I put my phone and earpiece and cards in it so it's like very easily like you no know, accessible to take the stuff in yeah it's really lovely like I really love it so that's the end of the haul I hope that you enjoyed it and you actually will watch all of it because it's actually quite long if you have any questions please do leave a comment down below regarding Taobao or like the Asian and as usual give this video a thumbs up if you like it also if you want to see more of me subscribe to me and follow me on social media so I'll see you guys next time bye